it's Mama Peace Kitchen. So we'll be cooking Nigerian jollof rice today. I just put my rice on the stove now and I want to parboil it. After parboiling the rice now, so I'm going to make the Nigeria sauce stew. You blend your tomatoes, your hot burning pepper and uh, ginger and garlic. You just blend them together. Do not add blend onions because onions will reduce the color of, of the redness of the tomatoes. So you just blend them together, blend your tomatoes, then add your paste, you put it on your stove and let it steam. Add one or two table of granula mm, oil, then let your stew to steam. Then I'm just going to allow this rice to boil now for like five minutes. Then I'll sever it. From there, I will show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, this is my sauce. I'm just going to add some time thymes on the uh, blend of ginger and garlic uh, salt to taste some salt then you add your bay leaf your bay leaf is the main ingredient for this rice so when you add your bay leaf is that that gives you the dark taste and many other seasonings. I think we to add uh, some seasonings again. That's all. We we'll allow the soup to steam now. And then we we'll add our rice to it. Don't add so much water. Then reduce your stove to your to mid, so that the rice will get burned. You cook it slowly. That's all. We we'll allow it to boil. I'm just adding my rice now to the sauce. gradually shake down for those rice. And I'm going to stir. I haven't added any water to the sauce at all. So we don't need so much water so that the rice won't be soggy. You know in the other episode I showed to you how to use your oven. For this one now I'm using my stove to cook. If you don't want to use oven or if you don't know how to use your oven. I also added my bay leaf. You can see it there. It's in it. So this water is not enough. I'm just going to add like a cup of water and stir. That's a cup of water. I didn't parboil the rice much, so you have enough time to cook and uh, soak in the sauce. So we're just going to allow it now to steam. I'm going to cover it now with foil paper. Remember what I told you about using foil paper. The shiny part faces up, while the door part faces down, because that's the side that conduct heat. We are just going to put that on top of it now. Then I put the lid on and allow it to slowly cook. So this is it. This is our jollof rice. So when you want to prepare it, ensure that you use, you put your set your stove on a medium. Look at it. You can see the done. It's not burnt. I know. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Mama Happy Kitchen. And if you have any questions, please email us at Mama Happy African Kitchen at gmail.com. Thank you once again.